Brian's Beat. Paul Chase has an announcement. Are we the first to to have this? You are. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it hasn't been. It's not even, I guess, what my kids call Facebook officially yet. So. It's not Facebook. Oh, so <laughs> does that mean it's fake news? It, no, it's not fake news. It's going to be real news. Real news. Real news. Paul Chase, what is your news? Well, so after uh, talking with family and friends and uh, a lot of colleagues of mine, uh, as well as a lot of folks around the New Bedford area, uh, I've come up with the decision to run for City Council Ward 5 in New Bedford. Really? First of all, congratulations. Well, thank you. What makes you, I mean, you've got a big agenda. You're working on South Coast Rail. You're, you're the head of the real estate board down here. You have kid. you know, what makes you decide that you want to be a city councilor, a ward councilor? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with timing. And uh, I wasn't necessarily interested in running against an incumbent. Uh, and Kerry has decided to to step down after 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 this term. Which, by the way, I cannot say enough about Kerry Winterson and the job that he has done. And we certainly thank him for all he's done for the families and businesses of Ward Five. So I, I definitely want to get that out there right off the bat. But um, I didn't want to run against an incumbent. I have kids that are now a little bit older. My oldest is 26. My my youngest is going to be 18 in, in high school. And I just felt like if I was going to do this, this was the time to do it. I've always been one to give back to the community. I've always one that uh, really felt passionately about the New Bedford area. If you ever talk to my wife, she'll tell you that uh, whenever we're roaming around, whether it be a locally around the state around the country for real estate i'm always touting the new bedford area in in all the positives new bedford has so i i want to make a difference i want to be here i want to help i want to offer my help to the constituents of ward five since it came up during the ward three special election did you have to move into ward five no i've been i've been living in ward five for eight years now I've uh, uh, 43 out of 46 years of my life have been in new bedford the only three were when i uh took a job opportunity in South Carolina for three years. You say that you want to give back, you want to help New Bedford. Where are you looking to help? What What are the needs that you see presently? So what I'll say is, and I've said this before, I think New Bedford is going in the right direction. I think we have a lot of positives about New Bedford, but I also think that we could we could do more. We could always do more, right? So it would be great to have some fresh ideas on the city council mix it up a little bit, talk economic development. Not that economic development hasn't been a key factor in the city council, but working with others on the city council and the mayor's office on economic development and smart growth opportunities, education, which I feel is very, very important. And, you know, sometimes we talk about it, uh, how, how the schools may maybe get a bad rap in, in, the, in the media at times, especially in New Bedford High School, and I don't think that is the case. And I think there are a lot of positives that are coming out of New Bedford and a lot of positives coming out of the school system. What so, about crime? I'm, I'm sorry. Yep. What about crime in the city? The numbers say it's gone down. The perception is whew, it's up there. So what I'll say is I, I, I am a numbers guy, so I do believe that the numbers have gone down. I you know, I believe that a lot of what happens in this city, you know, the negatives are always always thrown out there more than the positives are. I do think that um, they're making a difference. You know, the police department. I love the High Five Fridays. I love. Oh no! Uh, I do. Oh, I, I, no. Listen, any way we can get police involved with the community. At a, at, a, at a younger level and, and grow those relationships, I, I really believe that is important. We are talking to Paul Chase. You know him as the executive director. What's CMAR called now? <laughs> I'm the CEO of the Realtor Association of Southeastern Massachusetts. Realtor Association of Southeastern Massachusetts. If you didn't hear it, he is throwing his hat into the ring to be a New Bedford city councilor in Ward 5. Have you been able to talk to the current councilor or anybody else in, in the district? I did. I, I had a quick chat with Kerry Winterson this morning, a very nice nice uh, conversation with Kerry. And uh, like I said, I, I hope to, uh, if elected, when elected, let's, let's be very hopeful, when elected, 
uh, I hope to uh, do a heck of a job just like he has done. And uh, like I said, continue to move the, f- the city forward. There has been a lot of talk, the residency law in New Bedford. What's your thought on the residency law? Is it a good one? Does it need to be taken off the books? So my thought is you always want to attract the best talent to the area, right? So whether they live right in the New Bedford area or they they live in the surrounding area. Uh, That being said, I, I do like the idea of being able to decide on an individual basis because that gives us the opportunity to uh, make those decisions based on other factors. The other question deals with the recreational marijuana. So what I'll say is that, you know, it, the the city council's job is to listen to their constituents, and that's that 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 is the first thing I will always do. That being said, the constituents have spoken about marijuana and, and the use of recreational marijuana. What I will say is, I uh, I did see the the mayor's proposal for the moratorium for uh, I think eighteen months or so, September in two thousand eighteen. Um, I appreciate where he's going with that. I I understand that we really, I mean, we're in a new era here with this that we have to be very very careful at what we do. But I also have a lot of faith in the city council and the in in the city council. From what I understand, has put a, a working group together, a committee of some sort, to take a look at this. I'm not so sure that we need to wait until September of 2018 to make those decisions. Paul Chase. Brian's Beat.